theo được đâu Welcome back to another episode of Backyard Builds. I'll start this episode by saying a massive thank you to Tom and Saxon. So as you've seen in the last episode, I went away to Germany uh, for work and my mates, along with the help of my parents, stole my car <laughs> and continued to work on it while I wasn't here. Because it was never going to happen otherwise. It was. It was just Not. Just going to be... It was going to be delayed. Prolonged. <laughs> so Delayed. Thanks very much, both of you, for doing that. And mum and dad Melbourne out as well. Because apparently it was a bit of a shit fight to get out of the backyard. There was mission involved. There was a few cars to be moved and trailers and shit. And yeah. Anyway, so today's episode, we're going to pick up where they left off. We've got more car builders to put in. Uh, more sound deadener back through the rear cargo area and up the firewall. And inside the doors, hopefully. Inside the doors, I've also got a acoustic liner to put in the floor as well. And we're gonna start actually putting stuff back in the car. So brake pedal, master cylinder, their key components, because the dash actually bolts to them. So dash will be coming. Um, exactly, we'll take the column out. Take the column back out, pull it apart, paint it, rebuild it. So I bought all the parts for that. They just haven't turned up this week. It's one of those things I paid for Express Post on Monday night and it's now Sunday, seven days later. Thanks Australia Post. Definitely not a sponsor. <laughs> Never <laughs> will be with this rate. I ordered the same, at the same time I ordered all the car builder stuff, direct freight, it was here Thursday. So, happy days. So we'll do that this week, dash will be next week, and potentially motor and box as well. We'll put the hood lining in today. Put the hood lining in so Brian's gonna come over and. You can probably already see it's already half in. No, they couldn't, they couldn't see it. <laughs> yeah, that camera angle right, so you couldn't see yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, hood liner's in, so we've got a bit of footage of Brian putting that in, so big we'll thanks to Brian. Cut in well. now. now. <laughs> Whose car? Your car, oh. in my shed. Well, we're here today with Brian, and Brian's gonna put in Hello, this roof liner. Into the wagon. Yeah. You got that sorted? Mock up. Me and Tom know about that car. Good. We fix a fuel tanker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that will not see the cutting room floor. Yeah. Right, thank you. Back on the tools, hey mate? Back on the tools. Holiday's over. Holiday's over. So we're just putting the last few bits of sound dinner in, right up the firewall. Just got another bit to go here and here. Just done those two bits. And how schmick does that hood lining look? So now that the hood lining's in and glued, it's just got all the nice glass to go back in. But we're going to finish the sound editor and then start playing with the other stuff. Stuff. You awake there, champ? Yeah, mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you explain to people what you're doing there? Uh, what that's, what's, what's all the silver tape for? So it's just a foil tape. So what the foil tape actually does is just seal the edges up in between 
the sheets. Um, a bit more of a moisture barrier, I guess, to stop water sort of wicking in under it. Um, car builders recommend to use it. This is actually from them. This is their van tape or van insulator tape, but it's the mm -hmm. same stuff essentially. So, so just, you just put it all over all the joints? Over all the joints and roll it in. Roll it in. So we've done up the firewall. I haven't gone too far on that side. Yeah, we're not we're not gonna do above the steering column and stuff, just in case brake pedals and wiring, just bits and pieces. We'll get all that in and then we'll work around. We've got a heap of little in. off cuts and strips and stuff, so yeah. We can do all that stuff later on. So for anyone wondering how many boxes the car's actually taken, how many did you put in? We did, we had three and a half full boxes and that did all the roof. Yep. And sort of like the floor and the 70 floor. 70% of the floor, yeah. 80% of the floor. Zach went and bought a second box or two more boxes. We'll do the cargo area and, and inside the doors with it all. So it's probably five boxes per car. Or Five per, boxes per for a full wagon, yeah. You're probably looking about the same for a sedan if you're going to do the boot and everything as well. If you go all out. So I'll keep going with this foil tape and we'll come back to you. So, Zach has got all the silver tape down over all the joins. We're going to tape the rear? Uh, probably not. Probably not. But we will, we will put an acoustic liner in there. Just enough, probably, maybe just in the fuel, in the spare wheel thing. But we can't really put too much up here because there's the rear tray to go on. We'll have to try and limit that the pump noise as much as possible. Yeah, the pump's here somewhere, so there will definitely be some acoustic liner in there. But it's all taped up now. We're actually going to pull the column out so Zach can take that home and rebuild it and respray it. We are also now going to put. Uh, brake master brake pedal in and the brake master cylinder in and then we'll because the wiring I think bolts to that and then we'll lay all the wiring out and that'll probably call it for a day especially with this beautiful grey hood lining brand spackers you ready? Yes. no alright so column is out this is black zinc on this? Yeah, black zinc. Um, zinc fasteners, original fasteners. The paint of the pedal arm. Zinc push rod. Zinc push rod. And other stuff. And this, with my third arm, I'm going to scratch all the zinc off. Like that. And then Tom's going to take this extra couple of bolts out here. goes up there and then with my other arm here. There we go. Look at that. Like octopus. And then we also have where does this one go? There's one. Oh, I've got four. It's all right. I got I've got four arms. I got it. Give me this one. So then we've also got our adapter plate which plates through the firewall now which goes from early to late model and uh, uh thingies master something yeah that one thingies was a bit wrapped all right so that's we're going to leave that a little loose for a minute because i'm going to go and do my side Works good. Yeah, go all the way to the floor or to the stock, whichever one it is. Yeah, just no brakes. A bit of a soft pedal. I blame you on that. Yeah, haven't, just... haven't bled yet. <laughs> we still need to drill one more hole. Yeah, well, which one of these isn't a line, or are they all lines? The center one's not the line. So that's supposed to have a blank in it, which? It's got a blank and it's got a ball bearing in it, so don't take that out. Ah! Sorry, blanked off. <laughs> right. Yeah. What's the sound one for? Don't know. 
brake light switch. Which is where it's going to go because I didn't put it back on the pedal. Because I pressed 10 in these? No, it'd be the emergency brake light switch. Fail, fail switch. Oh, the dash? Yeah. No. no. Yeah, this one would be a little switch. So if you lose brake pedal pressure, oh. it'd show a light on the dash. I would mate, assume. Mate, it's 1966. There's no light on the dash for brakes. It's charge and oil pressure. That is it. Sorry, too used to working on Holden's, but they were more advanced. <laughs> more safety in mind. More safety. You've got no brake pedal. We're going to at least let you know before you hit the wall. So there's a master cylinder in. With our adapter. With the adapter. And the pedal. So the adapter's actually tapped. So you would have seen me screw it in from this side. So it's actually bolted through. Um, it's just a double safety. Just double safety. Because otherwise it relies on the four nuts, but then there's nothing to bolt the master cylinder on. So the yeah. master cylinder, the adapter plate is tapped and threaded. The bolts thread through the brake pedal mount as well. So it's all sandwiched. And yeah. It's just not going anywhere. It's going nowhere. Nowhere. So next job we'll lay some coloured spaghetti in. Some painful wiring. And probably call it a day. All right, let's do it. This here is the full carbon. Oh, first plug it in. Plug it in. What do you mean plug it in? I said, well, I get in. Oh, I thought you said plug it in. I was like, you know, can't plug that in. Oh, wow, this floor's really slippery. Yeah. All right, so we've got a painless wiring harness. Sort of did a lot of this off camera because I didn't think anyone would want to see it. Zach does his own wiring. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Me and my dad share the same opinion on wine. No point in having it. It's painful. Yeah, that's why they're called painful wine kids. It's been good if I actually did those up. Can you go as a tenant? Oh. Oh, hold on. Cut. Cut. <laughs> so, Malian's never really had fuse boxes. Never really had fuses either from what I remember. Um, All oh, two of them. Yeah, one's for tail lights. Which is Axe. Uncle Tony's never seemed to work for me enough. Well, the switch was broken, so the tail lights stuck on. So whenever you pulled up, you had to pull the fuse out, so the tail lights didn't stay on. So what we've done is we've gone to a, I think it's only an 18 circuit, because the car doesn't have much going on in it. Uh, Painless wiring harness, which looks like that, comes out of an absolute bird's nest, but it all runs micro blade fuses and very small relays. Two relays? What are the relays control? Good question. Okay. We're gonna look that far into it before you start filming. So where are you clicking that into? So we made a little bracket that sits up on top of the brake pedal brace. Uh huh. And then it clips back into its own little bracket there like that. So it's all reasonably accessible up under the dash. I've already terminated some plugs like this one here is a column plug. So for blinkers, feed and stuff. There's another plug in here. That's for gauges and stuff. So that one comes up through here. I've got some nuts that's placed around the spot places for P clamps and things. So a lot of the wiring's already done. So we'll lay it in, see how it goes. I'll wrap it in a conduit, run the rear down for the pumps, and then run the front out up under the guard. And then engine, we might put a plug in here. Not 100% sure where I'm going there. Right up. And on that note, oh, actually I've got one more job we can do. Put those rear trim panels in it. I can put those in. All right. Here's screws for that. What's yeah. a, what's a, even a code word? Well, I still really haven't got sticker packs on them. Yeah. We can. There's just going to be a backlog. It's got upholstery. Upholstery? Yeah. You've got to spell it right. <laughs> yeah, upholstery. <laughs> you got to spell it right. With a capital. Ah. <laughs> All right. It's our upholstery. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next week on Backyard Builds.
we'll do more painful wiring.